Hi, I'm Kristen White. We're here at the Be Legendary event. It's hosted by Speaking Empire. So everyone here talks about having that golden tongue, but I got to tell you, my guest today, Skip Dreibelbiss, knows all about that. He's an expert auctioneer. Skip, thanks for being here. Oh, thank you for having us. It's a great opportunity to come down here. So as an expert auctioneer, what are some of the things that you have auctioned off? Well, uh, we do anything from real estate to estate settlements, heavy equipment, machinery, gold coins, silver jewelry. Pretty much if it's legally can be sold, we can sell it. If it can legally be sold. I understand that's, right. that's kind of the key here. Right. So when you're doing an auction, um, what are some of the things strategically that you use you know, to get it go for the highest price? Well, you, the product drives the sale itself. So the product is going to speak for itself. Uh, it's going to dictate the price. The nice part about the auction method is it sells for true market value. It's not a, a speculated price. It's not a projected price. It's, uh, you don't have comparables to look. You're just dealing with the reality of what something's worth. And a little bit of emotion too. Certainly, certainly. And uh, the com you know, when, when sell uh, buyers compete, the sellers win. Hmm, I like that when buyers compete. So how can we use these auction strategies inside our own businesses? Well, if you're looking to liquidate or find the true market value, something the auction method is great. And uh, primarily in real estate, uh, you have what I call the list weight and continuously reduce method of selling. And the auctions uh, actually bring the reality to what something's worth. There's been studies in the Wall Street Journal recently and the New York Times that indicated even appraised values aren't accurate. And just because somebody's homes down the street sold for much less and another one up the street that's by the same builder sold for a lot more, you can't use that type of speculation to uh, try to figure out what a property is really worth. So uh, the best way to find that out is by offering an auction and finding out what the true market value is worth. And oftentimes that's usually more than the traditional list weight and a reduced method of selling you find from realtors. So all those comps that everybody talks about, right. they're not really accurate. No, no. Each property speaks for itself. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the, a lot of realtors like to moonlight as interior decorators or landscape <laughs> architects, but they don't really... Uh, aren't focused on selling and, and a true auctioneer is really a marketer and a person who sells because their job and they have a vested interest of course mm -hmm. is to get the top value they can for their clients so they're able to take it to the next step the next level they're not going to try to tell somebody to you know have contingencies in their sale uh, where they tell somebody to uh, fix this repair that upgrade the next thing and spend their clients money knowing that they're not going to get a return on investment for it you know when you bought your home uh, you have your choice of cabinets and carpet and paint so why change all these things around in a home to something when somebody buys it they're going to change it anyway so these things uh, we eliminate because properties sell as is and uh, they sell for the reality of what it's worth so the, a, a client can actually uh, gain much more money by uh, using the auction method because again they're dealing they're eliminated the weak-minded buyers the people come to auctions are qualified to buy and they compete to buy so the seller really wins in the end so I want to hear one of those stories from behind the gavel like what's the craziest thing you ever sold at auction or weren't able to sell <laughs> well uh, um, We've, uh, we've had a lot of distinguished clients over time, and uh, sometimes people borrow their homes. Uh, we had a former NFL uh, three-time Super Bowl player, and we sold a couple homes for him. And one of the homes, I guess, apparently had a guest who had another room in the middle of it down in the basement that was kind of locked off. But to sell everything in the home and the real estate, when we got in there, we kind of found out some things were growing in there that they shouldn't have been. <laughs> and they weren't houseplants. Uh, they weren't houseplants. <laughs> and uh, that was a tough, difficult situation because, you know, we're put in a, I mean, I'm bonded and, <laughs> and uh, I don't want to have any trouble with law enforcement. So was, uh, fortunately, everything was dead when we found it. But uh, still, we've seen some interesting things we've sold at auction before. Okay, give us your auction chat just for a minute. Okay, in a property, where would I go? 100,000. One would have been 100,000, two would have been two, two now, three would have been three. Or, or go to the millions, you know. We uh, saw a lot of distinguished properties. How long do you have to side. practice to do it like that? Um, well, <laughs> it, again, it, you, your chant kind of dictates the sale. So if we're dealing with high-end properties, multi-million dollar luxury homes, you know, we're not selling. Our chant is much slower. Okay. So be, you know, on the property today, would you bid two, two million dollars? Okay, the current call is two million. Would you bid two million one hundred thousand? Okay, I have two million one hundred thousand from the gentleman over here on the right, currently calling for two point two million. Would you bid two point two million? Our, our chatter, or our, you call it a chatter, but it's really a chant. Oh, a chant. It, it actually, uh, <laughs> it's it. The sale dictates the, the the type of style you use, so we adjust as we need to. 
Okay, you've got the chant here with the golden tongue from Skip, the auction expert. Thank you for being one of thank the you. experts here at Legendary Experts. Well, thank you for having us. Thank Have you. a great day and best of Providence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you.